Hey guys, what is up? The Neocubist here. Welcome to episode 14 of my chill, hardcore survival let's play in 1.18. In yesterday's episode, I won't spoil it if you didn't see yesterday's episode. I will spoil, however, that we found a turtle stuck in a boat. And it's very sad, so I am going to free the turtle. As I said, I'm going to turn on the hitboxes so that no turtles are injured in the making of this. Uh, this is it, it is very difficult. You can see the hitboxes are very close, so I'm going to have to just whack the... There we go. You're free! And uh, hopefully we can have little turtle babies here soon, which would be very nice. So we have that turtle and this turtle. And uh, they're going to go back to their home beach. I don't know where that is. Um, but I had to AFK for quite a long time so I could get grass under here in my cow farm. So I don't know if I can see it from here. Yeah, you can't really see it, but there is grass in our cow farm. You can kind of see it from here. And let me, let me uh, get in a stable position and then look. There's grass in our cow farm, so we should probably go breed those. But yeah, in yesterday's episode, we built a garage and we built our very own supercar in the driveway. Pretty sweet, guys. Not going to lie. Pretty sweet indeed. Um, this is the garage, like I said. I want to build a minecart, too, down to our skeleton farm. So that's kind of like our, I don't know what you'd call this. I guess the basement or something. Yeah, I don't know. This world's turning out pretty cool, if I do say so myself. But I am going to go and breed the cows because they really need to be bred because I would like to get some item frames at some point. So all we have to do is head into our tube of dreams, which I have not really figured out how I want to deal with it. I don't know if I want to put slabs in the entrance or what. But over here, you can see we have our cows, and they're uh, just... I, I don't even know how to describe it. They're underwater, grassy dome. I never put proper lighting in here. There's just a bunch of little stuff I want to do, right? Like, I want to put lanterns in here and all that. But that's not what we're working on this episode. This episode, I wanted to build the dock, okay? The dock and then the little, like, porch area, which was suggested to me by someone on Discord. So thank you again to that person. I will read their name in just a second. It is mwelk27 on my Discord server. So, if again, if you guys have any suggestions for this world, join my Discord server. The link to it is down in the description below. And uh, there's a suggestions channel on there. And if you suggest something that I use in this world, I will shout you out. So, just wanted to put that out there. Okay, so the dock is going to go somewhere around over yonder. And uh, I want to have it kind of extend right into here. Like, I want to have a little porch area. And uh, it should be kind of fun. I'm not exactly sure how we're going to go about everything yet. I just know that we don't have enough stuff currently. We're kind of broke when it comes to resources. We don't have any wood. We don't really have any rare resources at all, which I'm fine with. But I am going to donate five diamonds to the cause of making a nice axe. Because, man, we're going to need a lot of wood. Because we need a lot of campfires. I'm going to build a very special kind of dock. Hopefully this looks cool. This looks unique somewhat. We'll see. We'll just have to see how everything turns out. But... I'm quite excited by the prospect of this dock. So I am going to, I think, farm jungle trees, which means we need to get a little bit of dirt. No, mm, maybe yeah. we need to get a little bit of dirt. Uh, where is dirt? I think it's right here. Here it is. Okay, perfect. So we're going to, like I said, farm jungle trees. I'm not going to film too much of it because it's kind of grindy. Um, I, I also forgot to grab bone meal, dang it. But I'll, I'll grab it in a second. We have 23 whole saplings. Wow. So I do want to quickly mention this as it's like a new feature that you'll see on a lot of creators channels. There's something called Super Thanks, which is basically where you can donate a little bit of money and your your comment gets highlighted in the comment section. Like there's like a special background color to it and it goes to the top of the comment section and uh, you can donate any amount you'd like, but it's called Super Thanks and uh, most of your creators are probably going to but oh there we go most of your creators are probably going to turn that on pretty soon it looks like a little heart it's basically a way to support your creators you know not having to use patreon or anything so if that interests you and you want to give me a, a tip or something like that i would really appreciate it i don't want to like ask for them i'm not asking you to do it but i just want to make you aware because maybe you like another creator more and you'd like to give them a little tip but you know there was no way to do it unless they weren't live streaming right so it's basically like super chat but for videos that are uploaded it's called super thanks you can look at it, it's just kind of a little heart down there. Um, kind of near the like button and stuff like that. Anyways, I'm gonna gather a bunch of trees. And uh, yeah, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully after like three or four of these, I'll have enough. That's the hope. So I'm not gonna try to get like more than three or four of these big old trees, because I'm hoping that'll be enough. Man, this branch is huge. You guys see this? It, like goes all the way over to here. You hardly ever see branches on the jungle trees that big. This might be a maximum size one. 
Yeah, I think this one is. This is like probably the biggest one I've ever seen. Okay, let me uh, live stream it. Not live, you know what I mean. So, uh, you'll you'll see. All right, so I did three of these big jungle trees. And uh, remember, we started off with 23 saplings. And uh, man, you don't really get that many sapling multiplication from jungle trees. I don't know why. This dude also appeared. Um, you know, those are probably the best trades I've ever seen, but they're still, they're just absolutely terrible. So I'm very sorry, guys. I do like the leather that they give, so I have to do it to them. And they also spit at you. It's kind of annoying. Only okay, we got two leads. So yeah, I'll make sure and gather all these, I hope, but at least we have a three net positive profit on our saplings there. And look at all this wood. So hopefully that'll be enough. You'd think, you'd think, right? Like that's a lot of wood. That surely is enough wood. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I'll just wait for these to kind of decay because I'm going to forget about it if I don't wait off camera because I know how I am. So let me wait and just make sure I don't miss any. Okay, hopefully I didn't wait too long. Okay, yeah, we're good. I was just watching some, some short videos. Okay, there we go. So that's a good amount. We had 23 and now we have 29. So six extra saplings. Not the greatest. Oak trees are way better for salt... saltines. <laughs> Sapling multiplication, but it's okay. So we have phase one of our dock. Now we need a bunch of coal. And you're wondering why, well, I wanna do one of those fancy schmancy uh, extinguished campfire looking docks. So I'm gonna hop in my Lamborghini over here and we're gonna go to the coal mines. All right, well, here we are at the coal mines. Let's go ahead and come down here and uh, let's get some coal. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. All right, let's find an actual coal mine around here because we do need coal and we don't like we don't we don't have any coal And I feel like going towards this village is a non-starter. We've gone over here a million times um, Now unfortunately my uh, my Lamborghini can't cross the ocean I know it we we didn't get the aquatic package So we're gonna have to go to that little island not island But that uh floating mass of land over there that's floating I guess over an island and it's somewhere over yonder. So I'm going to hop in my boat, which I think is in my inventory. And uh, I guess we can just go from right here. And I'll meet you guys over there. If you remember, it's that place we were going to live at. And then we were like, nah. Because it was just too crazy. Um, it's kind of like, where you see the sugar cane over there? Like, I have my render distance set, so this looks like a big ocean. But the second you get over here, it starts to render in. Maybe there's some coal in a cave over here. I don't know. I mean, this thing is absolutely massive. I mean, just look at it. Um, maybe I'll live stream flattening this thing. <laughs> Probably not. That seems like a little bit. That seems like a little bit too much to me. Now, I haven't really looked for an ocean monument near here. Hopefully, that like hopefully there is one because I'd really like to have one. Is there like a little swamp in here? I've never really been over here. I do see some coal, but I'm looking for more like an actual mine. Um, I just never really adventured out over here to see if there was any like decent caves. I see that's not really a cave. I mean, like definitionally, I guess is kind of a cave, but I'm looking for more of an actual traditional cave. I will grab this coal though. This is too convenient not to grab. I want to get at least four stacks of coal and I'm not going to film like a whole ton of it. This is an odd, uh, that's very odd, Mojang. Um, I'm not going to film a whole ton of it because it's just collecting coal. Uh, but I want to get about four stacks. And the reason I want so much is that each campfire, I think, takes... I don't know. Let me look. I think each campfire either takes two or one. And I don't remember. Um, oh, just one. Okay. So a stack will get me 64. So yeah, four stacks of those should be good. What, wait, wait, wait. What else do you need? Oh! I would need... <laughs> I would need 12 stacks of logs for that many. Okay. Maybe we don't need as much coal as I thought. I'm not gonna make that many. So I don't know how this dock is gonna look again. Like I don't, I, I tried to look at Google images to see if I could figure out a good dock plan, but they all looked good. But I wanna be my own person. I wanna make up my own. 
So I'm going to do my best to do that. Uh, I was hoping there would just be a cave that would just show itself to me and I would, I would have no trouble, but it looks like I'm having a little bit of an issue finding one. And of course, the second I stop, like literally, like those are the chickens, the second I stop recording, I encounter a cave. Never mind, we're going home. <laughs> I think I think we have enough coal at home to do. Okay, whatever. I think we have enough coal at home to do this. I don't, I don't know why I came over here. Never mind. Sorry. I mean, like this place is like seriously like right in our backyard. It's just right here. And there's a there's a lot of potential, a lot of potential. So I'm in the ocean, and I get concerned because I hear cows, and then I realize I'm right on top of my cow farm. I think it was interesting. And by the way, our house looks really good. I'm actually very happy with how the house this season has turned out. Now, I'm not saying that's the final version of, yeah, that nether portal's an eyesore. We're going to fix it eventually. And, uh, hold on. Let me hop in my Lamborghini and just drive around for a little bit. I'm going to go for a drive. All right. Just got back from my drive. Yeah, the time didn't change because the it's so fast that it actually stops time when I'm driving it. Okay. So, let's see. How much coal do we have in here? Do we have enough to do what I want to do? Oh, man. We only have two stacks. <laughs> okay. I thought we had more. I thought we had more. We don't even have enough. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Well, this is uh, an unfortunate circumstance, to say the least. I don't think we have enough to do what we want to do here at all. We can at least start. We can at least start. How many campfires is this? Yeah, and the problem is it sticks now. Okay. And now we have no more logs. <laughs> That's not very many campfires. That's like an 8x8 eight eight area of, of a camp. Okay. <sighs> Whoops. You know, every day I wake up and it's staring me at this exact spot. It's kind of aesthetic. I like it, but it's a little, uh, a little uncomfortable to be waking up staring at a spoder. Well, that's okay. Um, I guess I can't really build my dock because I don't have any more wood. Okay, I'm going to go farm a bunch more wood. I'll be back in a bit. I didn't realize this would be such a uh, terminalist process. I thought this would be very easy, and I would do this very quickly. Nope, that's not the case. All right, so I'm going to do four trees this time. I think that'll be enough. I mean, three got us as much as you saw last time. So hopefully this will be... Uh, Hopefully this will be enough. Maybe we'll go for another one, like, right in the middle right here. Does that, sound, does that sound good to you guys? So, five of these trees. If that's not enough, then I don't know what is. Oh, this is a tiny little dwarf tree. That's fine, actually. I don't mind it. Um, I was just hoping for a giant one, so we'll grow another one in its place, since that's one that's only, like, half the size. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Well, now we have a... Uh, oh, my gosh. That one's just tiny, too. Well, now we have a little, uh, a little dwarf oak, dwarf oak, yep, that's it. We have a little dwarf jungle forest, and now I get to mine the entire thing out. Yay! <laughs> it's not going to take that long, but yeah, I'm going to mine our little uh, forest out here, and we're going to see what we can get. Well, maybe I'll do a time lapse of it. Maybe that would be nice to watch. I don't know. I'll try it and see if it ends up too long. If it doesn't, then you'll see it. I've broken so many of these trees now it feels like we still have two left I don't remember I think we had like 29 saplings or something like that it's somewhere like I know if we get above 30 by the end of this then we'll be net positive again we have 21 so far and then these two still have much more decay to go and then I still have these two so wish me luck and uh, I think we should have enough wood I mean we have a ton of wood now um, don't have that much coal so I don't know if we'll make more campfires or not we may only make portions of the dock out of the uh, raggedy wood that is extinguished campfire I don't know we're gonna have fun with it though either way there we go the final tree has been chopped and uh, yeah again like I said if we have about 30 saplings we're doing good it looks like we do let's got a fair amount of sticks I don't remember how many we had from just being crafted previously but this seemed to actually work out pretty well this time, so I'm actually kind of happy with the sapling yield here. And then, of course, the amount of wood we got is just bonkers. I mean, we broke I don't know how many trees. 
So I would hope that we have this much wood. I mean, look at all that. Three, six, almost nine stacks of wood. More like eight and a quarter stacks of wood. So I'm very happy with it. Again, I'm going to let the saplings decay. We're going to get right to work on the dock because I know <laughs> that's what you guys came here for. And we still haven't started. All right, that's good enough. I'm done. I'm done with the trees. Let's see. Our, let's see what we got. Whatever. Whatever else falls from this bad boy, we're just gonna leave it. I'm so done with this. I, I'm sorry if the video's just been. Oh, 50. Wow. Okay. We're actually doing pretty healthy there. Okay. I like it. So for this dock over here, I wanted to utilize a little bit more jungle wood because the inside has a lot of jungle wood, but the exterior just seems to be all one type of material, which is fine for you know the build. But I want to make this area feel a little bit more special. So how we're going to do this, how, how do stripped jungle logs look? Actually really good. I don't think I've ever really stripped jungle logs before. So I may actually end up using these as kind of like the area right here. We need to kind of decide where we want this to go. So unfortunately leaves, you're going to have to get broken. Maybe they'll give me some more saplings. I don't know. We'll see. Will you give me any sap? No. Will you, will you give me any saplings? No, that's okay. Will you? Maybe, I don't know. Um, we're gonna have to decide how big we want the area that is just kind of like the patio almost to be. And then from there we can go and actually build like the roof of the patio. And then we can extend that out into a dock. So it's gonna be kind of, kind of a really cool area. And I realize now I don't really need to strip the logs like before I place them. Cause I could just like, you know, put them down like this, right? And then I can just strip them once they're already on the ground. And I know that, you know, this is kind of expensive to do, but we have a lot of these logs. Okay, so I think I think we're okay to do it for just a little area, right? And uh, yeah, it's a little odd that that's right there. But once it's stripped, you see, I mean, there's that color differentiation, so it looks a little different. You know, I'm actually not, I'm not, I'm not opposed to this. I keep saying like, I don't use, I don't like stripped logs, but they actually look pretty good in this instance. Um, and this can kind of be our little patio area. Now, how I want to do the patio, I think I'm going to need a crafting table first and foremost. And uh, we're going to need to go from here. We're going to need to make a few things. So I need some... Okay, I'm going to go grab all my fence and stuff. Before I end up making a bunch of jungle stairs and slabs and stuff, let's go check. Because I'm 99.999% sure we have a ton of jungle stuff already. Like fence. Yeah, we're, I was about to make a bunch of stuff. We don't, we don't need any of this stuff. We're going to, I know you're seeing all this stuff. You're like, Neo, why, why are you grabbing all this stuff? You'll see. You'll see. We're going to go kind of crazy with it. I need some project barrels. That's why I'm bringing these. Oh, our shovel's almost dead too. How much? 31 durability. Look at that guys. Another shovel bites the dust. Okay. So, uh, that means we get to craft ourselves another shovel. I don't know how, so what is this? Our fifth shovel? Man, we're going through shovels like crazy. Yeah, this is our fifth diamond shovel. And I know you say like, oh, you could get them breaking. I'm not rushing anything, guys. This is a chill let's play, okay? We'll get to enchanted, enchanted tools when, when we get to enchanted tools. No rush. No rush at all. So like I said, we're going to probably put down a few project barrels just so that we have a little bit of storage. I'm going to go ahead and put everything that's wood into them. I'll probably actually just end up putting my whole inventory in here. That way everything feels nice and clean. So I know I'm going to need some logs. I'll take those out. I know I'm going to need this fence. Uh, let me see what else. Okay. And now I get to decide how do I want the deck to be. Now the issue is if I use the logs there, they're going to connect. So we're not going to use logs. I'm trying to think if there's any other kind of kind of a block that I haven't used that maybe would just look good. Let me like look through here and see. Maybe something like something different, something special. No, it doesn't really look like it. I don't know. Let me look in like the wiki or something. I don't need the wiki because I have my brain. Hold on. I have my brain. We're going to use compost barrels for the supports. So not something you usually use. And these are, are these a full block high? Yes, they are a full block high. And they look different, right? Like the, these are kind of a unique thing to use for like a roof material. And no one really uses them for like composting because it's worthless. You don't get enough stuff to really do much with. Uh, we just kind of have to extend the deck roof off. Now, I don't know if I'm going to copy this pattern that we have here or not. That's kind of the big question here. Do I want this to follow the same pattern? Um, hold on. Let me remove that because that makes it look really weird. I'm not exactly sure. I think so. Let me build it out and then we'll see. Because, you know, it's just it's one of those things I think I'm going to have to see before I can believe uh, I'm trying to think. 
Yeah, I guess I, I, I guess we'll just put more compost barrels. I know it, it seems like such an odd thing to use, but it, it actually kind of works. It's kind of working. So we'll put a compost barrel, and then we'll put two right there. And then, of course, we'll have it hang one off just to give it that... Oh! Just to give it that nice, uh, a nice appearance. And then it kind of hangs one off to the side here, so I should probably copy that same thing and do it over here as well. And that's more in line with the roof anyways. Okay, now let's sleep. We'll look at it, or we'll sleep on it. Where's my bed? Where? Oh, yes, probably, probably in the project barrel. Okay, there we go. Okay, bed confirmed. We're good. All right, let's see. How does this look? We're going to take our boat, go out a distance, and we're just going to look at the house. We'll turn around together, and we'll just look at the house. You ready? Okay. I'm, ge I'm getting the vibe. I'm getting the vibe. Okay, vibe check. Going to move over here. Okay. Hmm. Something feels off, but I can't put my finger on it. And I think it is... It's... There's something... Hold on, I think I actually have the solution, and it's a little unconventional, but I think you guys might, uh, I think you guys might warm up to the idea. Hold on. Now, don't immediately shoot this down when I start doing it, because when I say that asymmetry can really help a build out, I genuinely mean it. Like, asymmetry is the move, dude. Let me, let me, let me just show you here. So we're gonna make it look like it's, you know, tattered without being tattered if that makes sense we're going to use like a variety of wood types here we'll even change it all the way to here that way it doesn't look like it's like connected so much as it is just like you know here um and yeah we're just going to throw in a bunch of random kinds of wood and kind of mix and scramble it up a little bit and you may end up really liking it so again don't judge a book by its cover but let me kind of randomize these materials because it may it may take a minute just because there's a lot of stuff and uh, or, or there's a lot of wood types that I kind of want to add in here. Just these three. Um, but, you know, you want to make sure and spread everything kind of evenly, but without any sort of pattern. Okay, something like that up here has nothing. So we'll go ahead and do this. We'll do an oak here. Acacia, and then we'll do oak and oak. Okay, and let's kind of look at it. Okay, so from the front, there's some areas that obviously have like no differentiation. So we'll go ahead and change that a little bit. We'll put an oak here, an oak here, and then one of these. Okay. There we go. And there's too long of a line of random woods here. Okay. Or not random woods. There we go. Now let's look at it. Yeah, that looks a lot better. And it kind of adds like a nice like tropical feel to it almost. I don't know. I'm, I'm liking it more. But there's a few more things that I want to kind of mess with. And I think what I'm going to do is add a line of fence here. It, or not a fence. A line of uh, cobblestone walls. <laughs> <laughs> if I can remember what they're called and that'll look more like supports. I think I think it's better uh, Only for the upper side. I think that would be a little cramped if you were because I can't like put well actually wait Can I put fence here and then do like some sort of fence gate right there? That might be nice Nice chill day of building look at that So a little fence gate here Maybe you could even no. No, I'm not I'm not too keen on it right there. I think that would look better on this side, but then the fence gate should probably go right there. Okay. I like how that looks a little bit more. Because you know, the dock is gonna have to or not the dock, the deck is gonna have to be fenced in. Because otherwise it's gonna be kind of uh kind of sketchy at night and stuff. I don't wanna like walk out here right and get like wrecked by a mob. So we're going to do our best here to uh, add a few fence gates. We'll put one right here and right here. There we go. Okay. Now, obviously, we're going to do the same thing where we only have them on the support sides. And then we'll look at this from a distance again. Nice. I like it. I'm not I'm not I'm not sold on the, the cobblestone walls. I'm, I'm, I'm honest to God, not sold on. Them. I don't know. And uh, also, I think we should use oak fence. It's fine if we have, a, you know, the jungle actual fence gates but some oak fence is going to add a nice bit of contrast because there's too much of one wood type in here and you know you, you don't want that and i recognize forever all i built with was cobblestone and oak wood uh, but that's all my tutorial houses were built on it's like all i knew how to use and i'm trying my absolute hardest here to use different materials okay i promise we're trying really hard or i 
Not we. I hope it's not a we or I'm very concerned. Um, this one doesn't have anything in it, so we could do a comp. There we go. It does connect there, but whatever. So I'm trying to think, what else could we put here? Maybe some stairs of some kind? Um, we could use a variety stair type, but we don't have any more acacia. Hmm. Let me try this. We'll just use some basic jungle and tr may maybe replace these. Maybe that would be a little bit better. I don't know why. Why does it lag when I look over there sometimes? I don't know what's wrong with Minecraft. Sometimes Minecraft's just whack, dude. Okay, so a stair and a stair and a stair and a stair. Okay, maybe a stair on this side as well. Something like that. Yeah, that looks a whole heck of a lot better. Okay, so I like this so far. Now we just have to build a dock out to it. So we can leave this like like this little barrel structure here. That looks fine. Um, but for the actual dock, I'm, again, I'm not sure how we're going to do it, but I just know we're going to use a bunch of campfires. So let's kind of line out where we want the dock to be. So let me think for a sec. Okay, so I have a really good dock idea. <gasps> what? How come when I start recording, I got a hiccup? But I have a really good dock idea. The only problem is, is I need spruce wood. Oh, we don't have any spruce wood, so we're going to have to go to a biome that I don't know the location of, which is going to be a little bit of a struggle, unless somehow, I'm going to be very thankful if this is the case, maybe somehow, some way, we actually have some spruce wood on us. I know, you're like, Neo, I don't want to see you collect any more wood, and I won't make you watch any of it, okay? I'm just going to go get some, go get some spruce wood I just I feel like we have a couple spruce saplings I want to say that we do um, our plant box is right here all right well before we find the spruce biome we gotta kill these guys cuz I don't know what it is but they keep trying to raid my island and I don't know if it's like because I AFK for a while and they think that like they have the right to raid I, my armor just broke didn't it Wow, those are hurting quite a bit. <laughs> okay. What armor broke? Oh, my helmet. And my boots are about to break. And I'm in a corner. I don't like this. Okay, that was not fun. Okay, buddy. I, I understand. He said, ha, huh, I'm very angry. I don't care. Okay, I'm going to look for a spruce biome. I, I, maybe there's one over here. I can't remember, dude. I've played so many Minecraft worlds in the past three years. And this one's still relatively new. I know we're on episode 14, but like... You have to keep in mind that there's four episodes each week. This is only the third week of playing this world. Um, let me just fall down in here to my uh, secret location. I don't know why I built this, but I like it. I like it. Yeah, I'll run over here. We'll see if we can find one. I think there is one, but I don't know. Dude, I almost ran straight into the village, and for some reason, I saw that bad omen icon, and I... Oh, dude, I just saved it. I, I thought I was about to start a raid for sure. Wait a darn tootin' second. I saw this dude, and I have a bucket in my hand. You know what we can do? You know what we can do. Clutch play, let's go. Okay, and while I'm over here, you can see I kind of cherry-picked picked all the oak trees away. But I'm going to get a couple of these birch trees, um, just because I, for some reason, never really gathered them. I guess because I didn't want any wood, but oak wood, because I'm a pleb, and I just think that way. I think, oh, you just need oak wood. There's no point in getting these ugly trees. But this wood is beautiful, and hey, when it's stripped, it looks nice. Very, very nice. Oh, new recipes unlocked. <laughs> Alright, well, I just slept, and I was getting this tree, and this apparently is, like, right here. I don't quite remember this, but this is like right here. Maybe I do remember this thing, but look at this, dude. There's like a giant hole with a creeper at the bottom. There's no cave. Maybe there's a cave back in there. I don't know. But I thought that was interesting because I was just over here getting wood and I look down and I see this abyss and I'm like, oh, okay. We got a, we got a friendly neighborhood local abyss. That's always a, a fun sight to see. And yeah, more wood. Dude, my, my inclinations were right. And I think I saw this whenever we found that big old hole. You guys remember the, the, the world's largest hole? I don't remember where it was. I think it was... Oh, there's a nice little village over there. I think it was more in this direction. But I think you guys kind of remember that. Remember we had like a whole episode in that giant hole. 
Oh, and there's spruce trees right here. Oh, they're right here. I thought I had to go all the way over there. No, they're like all right here. Okay, so I'm gonna get a bunch of spruce wood. We need it for spruce wood trap doors. And uh, I'm, I'm of course gonna get some of these saplings so that we don't have to run all the way back here every time we wanna get any more spruce wood. So let me collect some stuff and I will meet you guys back at the house. Dark time. All right, guys, well, we're back. And I got a lot of stuff, dude. Look at all this wood. Look at all this wildlife stuff. <laughs> feel kind of bad about that, but we do need to make some more of those, uh, we don't actually have any, some more of those item frames. So we'll put all this stuff up into here, we'll organize it later. Uh, but we do have a good bit of wood, which means we can start on the dock. So let me open it up on my phone again. But I do know that we're going to need some of these bad boys, some of the most expensive thing to craft in the game. We're going to need some of these. Oh yeah, we got 40 of them, dude. We're also going to need a lot of barrels. Now, barrels is not something, you know, usually I get a lot of. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I always make a lot of barrels. I, I love barrels, personally. Um, but we are going to need a ton of barrels. And I think they are this and this. I am pretty sure. Okay, that's 21. And then how many is that? Okay. That should be a good start. Okay, 31 barrels. Okay. And then we have our campfires. Where are those? It feels odd to be building with a campfire, but you know what? They look so darn aesthetic that they're just, they're perfect, dude. They're perfect. And then, oh, and then we need oak um, planks. And then we need to make them into the slabbed form. Okay, guys, let's start building this thing. Let me look at the picture again just to make sure I got it all right. All right, guys, let's, uh, we have the go ahead. <laughs> we have the correct materials. Just need this. And uh, we should be good. Okay. No. <laughs> I wish that's where you went. Wait, is, is, no, that, that's not where you go. I'm sorry, we just wasted it. What do we get? Two charcoal out of the deal. Woohoo! Um, so the middle, it's gonna be three blocks wide, like this. It's gonna go out. And this is gonna be made out of the slabs. Hold on, let me make sure. I think it's one block up, actually. Yeah, so we're gonna have this go like this. And then eventually it'll transition upwards like this. So the dock will be one half slab above, which is fine. Like, right, like that's, that's actually, we're gonna fill those in. Um, one half slab above, just like that, okay? All right, now we just need to decide the shape of this thing. Like how big is it gonna be? Where is everything gonna go? I don't know exactly. Like I, I really genuinely don't. Um, I know at least we'll make it this far out. So we'll go ahead and do this for now. And then every third block, so like at the end of this, we need to count, right? This is going to be the first one, like right here. Okay, so in line with that one, we're going to go down. We're going to build up to this level right here. And then we're going to take a barrel. I know it's just, it, it, it is such an odd thing, but it ends up looking so good. Um, I couldn't really find credit for this just because it was like on one of those like, like, websites where it's just like best dock designs and i was like i i don't know how to properly like credit the creator and then every third one they're gonna do that same thing now i recognize that <laughs> we're gonna wait hold on here it takes one coal to make this but you get two and you break it well i guess you need wood but that'd be kind of helpful in like a survival situation would it not i feel like it would be and then you do the same sort of thing. It's funny how this doesn't set anything on fire. And then we'll make sure and face them all the same direction. And then, of course, you, you gotta, like, put the campfires out, right? Like, you're not just gonna leave them going. Um, but for right now, we'll, we'll just leave them going. Just because it's kind of funny. Okay, so place them that way. Okay. Cool. And then one, two, three. Three. And then we're gonna have to go get more of these for sure. Just because we don't have enough to finish. Maybe this and this side we do, but we're going to need more in the future. Now, I don't know if we have enough cobblestone. We've used cobblestone quite a bit, so let me go see. But I think we may actually be short on cobblestone, which is funny, because that's like something you should have a lot of by now. But I haven't really done a whole lot of mining. I've just done a lot of caving. And, uh, oh no, okay, we're okay. Oh, we have another stack too. Okay, sweet. I know, just preemptively, I'm going to make a few more, and then I'll keep that cobblestone with us, just in case we, you know, don't end up using them. I'd rather not waste it all and make it all into walls, because sometimes we make things that we don't end up using. You know, that's only happened, you know, a few times, of course, you know, not not very often. 
Okay. And then one, two, and three. Oh, we actually built it a perfect length for this. Uh, at least for this portion, right? Like, I'm not saying this is the end of the dock. I think I want to have it, like, turn at some point. Maybe, like, right here at the end or something like that. Um, but once we get past this kind of grindy part, I will stop filming as much and just kind of build it. Maybe do a time lapse. And then this is going to be tricky. We have to place it by holding shift. Wait, no. We can place it this way. No. Okay. Boom. And boom. Okay. Now you got to put the... <laughs> you got to put the fire out. So... And there we go. We have the fire put out and we have ourselves a nice dock. I think this looks pretty good. Uh, we could probably do with a couple of campfires right here as well. Wow. I'm actually kind of happy with that. That looks pretty good to me. Then we'll go ahead and put the barrels facing upwards. Now, you don't really use the barrels like for storage or anything. They're just more for the aesthetic. Uh, I suppose you could use them to store something, but I think this looks real good. I really like this. Um, now, obviously, there's not really a place for parking boats or anything yet, so we might want to do that at some point. That would be quite helpful, but I think I'm, this is going to be like a T shape, and we're going to have it go out a little bit further, and then it's going to go to the left and then to the right. We're going to have a nice big dock, so I am going to expand this thing. I do not even know how far, just far enough out to where if I go to the left, or maybe it'll just go to the left. So we'll expand it out to like, hmm, yeah, we'll expand it out to like somewhere about here, and then I'll kind of decide where I want to put everything in just a second, but I gotta sleep first on my floating bed. All right, guys, well, as you can see, I have finished most of the dock and uh, I'm pretty happy with how this thing turned out. You know, looking at it from a distance, it definitely looks like a dock. And uh, I think the fact that it looks like a dock more so than the other docks that I've built, it gives me a good feeling because now I know that, you know, it looks decent. It's not like a bad looking dock by any means. And uh, yeah, I'm happy with it. I think it turned out pretty well. Now, I want to have a big ship out here eventually, and I think that's where this is going to lead to, is kind of the ship, like right here. Over here, we can have some boat parking or something. I don't really know how to build the boat parking, though. Uh, maybe the boats can come in, like, I don't know, like right around here. They can go down a block like this. And then the, the, the tricky part about boat parking is it has to be two blocks wide. And seeing as how this thing... Actually, you know what? It could be like out here like this, right? So the boats could park like, oh no, like, hold on. The boats could park something like this and there could be two boat slots or something like that. I don't know, we'd have to kind of continue that same sort of pattern around here though. Um, otherwise it might end up looking a little odd. So maybe we can do that. Do we have enough campfires? No, I put, wait, 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 wait. I was gonna say, is that thing burning underwater? <laughs> And I actually messed this up because it's supposed to be a three block space in between. I think we can make an exception. 
because you know this is like a special kind of area I guess I mean d does this look like boat parking to you I don't know okay th there's not really a way to like for sure make it look like boat parking I will do this same sort of thing here with the barrels though um, I think it just looks nice um, so I think we should definitely add that as well and then maybe frame off the edge here with some campfires um, and then maybe hmm but where do I put the barrel hold on so if this barrel's here, then it would only make sense that I put it here, but I put one at the end of that one. That's okay. It'll be fine. I don't know. I'm still like, getting all stressed out worried about a silly little thing. There we go. Okay, so now we have boat parking. I think. <laughs> I mean, it looks like it looks like boat parking, so it should be boat parking, right? So now all we have to do is, like, you know, have a couple of boats. Let me go get my OG boat, which is in here, I think, in my wood chest, probably. You know, the special boat we made at the beginning of the series that I totally didn't throw away. I didn't throw it away. Okay, good. Now, we did name it and then promptly realized that once you break it and pick it up, it loses its name. So, don't name your boats. Unfortunately, you cannot name a boat. I'm not sure why. Uh, that's not something Mojang has figured out yet, apparently. And there we go. Now, we have some nice boat parking. Let's go, dude. That's actually pretty sweet. I like that. I should like that a lot. Okay, cool. Well, I think that's a good ending point for today's episode. I think tomorrow we're going to go around and kind of add some more. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do tomorrow exactly yet, but we're going to do something fun. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Again, don't forget about the super thanks feature if that's something that interests you. I'm not trying to ask for your money. I'm just trying to say, you know, if you're the kind of person who, you know, you wish I had a Patreon or something like that, or you always donate on live streams, keep in mind you can donate now on videos with super thanks. Um, join my Discord server if you have any ideas for the doc or anything else in general. Make sure you send them over on my Discord server, and I will be sure to uh, read everything in the suggestion channels there. Again, link is in the description for that. But yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Secret code for today is going to be... Nine oh, I feel like that's been too many times. There we go. <laughs> it's just the same thing with different order. Secret code is 9783. So put that down in the comments below if you want to show me that you watched the entirety of today's episode. All right, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!